Hello and welcome back to Vox Mundi! In the last episode we played as Valois and we invaded half of Anglia. I, I left a bit here because I didn't want to wipe them out entirely. Perhaps Valois can take care of them themselves. Anyway, I've moved on to a nation that has seen better days. Yes, indeed, we're once again playing as Sibir. So, Sibir, if you do not remember, is a Mazdaki nation. That means that we... Uh, Tolerate heretics and heathens quite uh, nicely, but earn less money. We have lost a lot of territory to Lithuania, but we have one big thing going for us, and that is the fact that we're allied to Great Moravia. So anyway, I need to locate our troops. Alright, so we have all our troops here for some reason. One of them are going way over here. Okay. Actually, you merge up and go like that. Leave a little siege stack. Yeah, that should be good. This is what Uzbek nationalists. Yeah, let's wipe them off the map. Our force limits are not at uh, the limit. We do not have any boats. Oh, we have three. Right, well, I'm not going to focus anything on boats. We have made all of our cores, and we have loads of culture that would need converting, but we're not going to convert. All right, well, we have Great Moravia on our side. That is a big win. We could attack Lithuania and take their, uh, take our cores back, but first I think we should try to westernize. Now, I don't think it would be wise to westernize now, because we don't have that many points stored up. But uh, let's try to store up some points. So let's see, we're earning 9.8, which means that we can have a few of these. Uh, though we need more money to actually recruit them with. Let's see if we have any missions. Um, Damot. I don't like any of those missions. What is this? Diplomatic repeti- Uh, alright, I want to get rid of this. But you can't do it before four years has passed. And you have a, a crappy general. Let's hope we win. Can no longer claim that Kola would be a rightful part of our realm. That's too bad. Still have a core up here. When does that expire? Wait, is that ours? No, it's not. Right, it expires in quite a few years. Well, I do not want it. I want these back. All of our nice cores of our own culture, I do believe. Well, it's our culture group, at least. Call me and finish. So, uh, let's uh, finish off these rebels. You guys can go back here, because we need to defend this front. And uh, eventually even attack these hordes here to get some territory. Ooh, Mongolia's vassalized Ili. Kyrgyz then. In that personal union under Ossetia? What? Well, okay then. We're not getting this, but I'd rather defend in this general area. Let's ma maintain the diplomat in Great Moravia. We're fabricating a claim on Lithuania, apparently. I'm fine with that. And we're improving relations with Samarkand. Let's c uh, continue doing that as well. Yeah, let's uh, let's hire some more advisors. So let's see here. This would suck seven monarch points each month. Yeah. The advisor costs would uh, skyrocket, and our stability would drop. So we, what ideas do we have, by the way? We should probably just, in general, get rid of this focus. 666, yes, the number of the beast. We're converting something. Uh, 0 0.0. 0. Nice, I think we're not going to keep converting that, unless... We do not have a missionary guy, so let's stop converting that. Uh, you cannot send... what? The province that you do not control and own? Oh, right, it's these. That explains it. I'm not converting these, take too, way too long. Our ideas, yes. Diplomatic expansion quantity. Oh, innovative, that's nice. And <laughs> espionage. No, don't want it. Right here, we can convert this. No, apparently not. What can we convert then? Right, so... 
We can't convert much at all, it looks like. Well then. Should probably look into getting uh, the Theologian. For the lessened revolt risk. No gay. Get over there. Decent general at least. Not bad. Now the question is, should we westernize first? Or should we attack Lithuania first? Let's see if... Uh, great... Wait. What? Leads with Turov. Hmm. Well, when this is done, I'm going to check if Great Moravia would even join in. They're currently in a war with Fes and Great Baghdad, so I'm guessing no. Oh, we're taking loan? Really? I did not see that coming. Right, so let's uh, get rid of the trade efficiency guy. Odd. Oh, it was the reinforcement costs or something, I think. Did we suffer, like, attrition when we marched over there? Maybe. Oh, well, let's... Uh, oh, we, we do. We took too much attrition here, so let's uh, march them uh, in two different direction here. Um... Okay, sure. I'll get some marriages. And these all suck. Not going to convert those. Wait, how many loans do we have? Four? Holy crap. Let's not pay our army. And, uh, let's see. Revolt's possible. Uday and Irkutsk. Hmm. Wanna harsh treat these? Yeah, 10 military power, 20. Where else? Irkutsk. Here. 10. Well, right. Let's uh, harsh it. And the rest should be fine. We have no gay. But we could harsh treat for 10. Yeah, let, let's do it. I mean, I don't want to waste any manpower or uh, money. When we have uh, loans to pay off. Ooh, mercantilism. Nice. Technology cost. Now, let's save this. I'm not going to expand uh, our technology any before we have a chance to decide if we're going to westernize or not. Right, so. If I did this, they would not join in because they have a truce with Lithuania. So, we simply have to wait then. Let's recall that diplomat. And save up a load of money. Yes. Oh, can we colonize anything, by the way? Anything? That looks like most of uh, all of these islands are already colonized. It's too bad that Castile took the Kurils. I would have liked them. Mm, yeah, there's nothing left to colonize. Everything is colonized. As expected. Though it would be nice to regain our old homelands. So uh, let's uh, repay a few loans. They're all 180 something. This one is 200. Yeah. I don't like it. No, I don't. So we earn 757. That is actually pretty good. How old is our monarch? Uh, 63 with a 15. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Right, so. Hmm. I'd like to westernize. I don't think it would take too long. Though uh, the national revolt risk would skyrocket, and we need to pay off the loans. It's, there's just no way around paying off the loans. Bayulu. Where's Bayulu? over here. 20 military power. Yeah, let's do it. And we can pay off a few more loans. Let's repay the expensive loan. Then we only have two left, and then we need to save up a buffer. And then we need to save up some admin power so we can raise our stability. And then we can westernize. I hope. Anything going on, Valoi? To lose an Antalam Fade, I see. Perhaps poor uh, Antalam Faith will be fully annexed. 
for long. Kyoklochlan is taking Kotland. Interesting choice there. Hmm. No, I don't want to take this. I, I'd rather... I don't think we can keep too much saved up. 1,298. Let's remember that number. And we can repay another loan. Just one more left. How is our inflation looking, by the way? It's pretty shit. And it's going up because of our gold mines. Yep, it's going up alright. Yeah. <laughs> it's going up really quickly as well. Ooh, more mercantilism. Yes. Yes, please. We have a few lazy diplomats. You can improve relations in Hamad... Actually, who's our rivals? Lithuania, Great Baghdad, and Korea. Korea, interesting choice. Let's improve relations with uh, Dacia. They're, they might be a good ally to have. Ooh, and they have uh, inherited Crimea. They should be able to form... Uh, nah, actually, they, they won't because they don't have uh, these lands here. They need those to form uh, Daso and Pera. Let's improve relations with uh, Sheng, maybe. Better than sitting around doing nothing. Right. Let's pay off our last loan. There we go. Alliance offer from Dacia. Can we handle another alliance? Four out of six. Yes, we can. Let's take it. You're currently at war with only Naxos. That's good for us. Hmm. Yeah, let's save up as much money as we possibly can. And then westernize. Money and points. Diplomatic power. We're going to run out of diplomatic power. Because we don't have plus seven. But we need uh, a buffer because we're going to lose some from events as well. Let's uh, recall the Diplomat. Can't convert any of these. Hmm. I'm hoping that we can uh, harsh treat most of the high revolt risk provinces for uh, almost free. When we westernize. So we don't have to fight many revolts. Our land is piss poor anyway, so it should be e easy to westernize for us. Shouldn't take more than like... 10, 15 years, maybe? 20 at tops? Maybe I'm underestimating it. Maybe it's 30 years or something. I don't remember how hard it is to westernize on this particular patch, but it's definitely harder than in uh, the Art of War patch. Let's see here. Let's lose one prestige. We don't need the defensiveness. When we can have sweet ducats instead. Right, so westernizing. We'll drop us to minus 2 stability. We'll make our advisor cost way too much to use. Seven monarch power each category. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to wait a bit longer. It's a tiny bit. 500 dip points. <laughs> we lost our conquest against Tver. Oh, they're allied to Skelland. The horror. Should almost take them later on, when we can. Seems easy enough. Alimuli and Shetjuro, are they around here? They are indeed. 30 and... how many? 30 and 20. Let's, let's do it. Hmm. Nice. And... Harsh treat. What is this? The third Mongol conquest of Kyrgyz against Mongolia. Mongolia is allied with Hamadan. I want to see if they are called in. They are. Right, so we can unfortunately not help. Because we're going to westernize. Unfortunately. Don't want to fight right now. 
But of course you can have a military access. Right, so we did betray a long time ally, probably. But I'm going to re-ally you... Uh, sometime later. I'll send you an improved relation so you don't get too pissed at me. You understand, I do this for the betterment of the Mastaki world. Right, so we should be able to do this now. If we westernize... I should really wait a, a bit longer. I need to have my military uh, going around the clock when I do this. So I would, I, I would like to have a, a thousand ducats as well. Let's maintain the diplomat in Ossetia. I'm going to have to fire my... No, actually, I should probably keep him around. Probably. Yeah, I'm not going to tech up. Before it's uh, almost done, because we're going to lose power for sure. Let's recall this diplomat and have one diplomat free. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's try this. Let's try westernizing. There we go. That's uh, going to take how long? It's going to take ten years. Um, but of course, it's going to take longer because we uh, are going to run out of power probably. So let's uh, make sure that our revolt risk is a bit better by boosting twice to zero and uh, harsh treating the worst offenders here which would be let's take a look here actually these 10 military power is fine 10 is fine 10 is super fine let's spend 30 to protect our capital our no actually our capital is sunni for some reason I have no idea why. Anywhere else we need to horse treat? Um, it's actually really fine. Alright, let's hope that we can keep this up. Yeah. We can still keep... Uh, 1,298 power stored. Right, well, let's get this westernization on the road. Let's lose prestige, because why not? Let's increase our... Oh, we can even go positive in, in ducats. Now that is something. I am surprised that we're not getting more uh, rebels than this. Or revolt risk. When we're western, we're definitely going to be able to uh, take on Lithuania. They're only eastern. Who are we westernizing off, by the way? Turov? Ossetia? Hamadan? We're westernizing of Castile! <laughs> wow, it was excellent of them to take the Kurils. Now I understand why we let them have it. Now that is... Uh, that sure is something. It was my plan all along. Ooh, nice, it's not a westernization uh, event, so let's uh, just go with that. And keep an eye on our technological progress here. Mm. Yep, still done in 1711. Ooh, what is this? Ah. Uh, now, I could e either double my money or get 50 Diplo points. I think doubling our money is the best in the long term. Because then we can go into a deficit more easy. easily. We can even have another advisor. For real. I guess we want the trade guy. Yeah, because we're going to run out of diplomatic power first. There we go, and we're still running positive. That is... Excellent. Um, here we go. Here we have those awful events. Lose 100 admin power. Let's hope we don't get more of those. Ooh, let's ho hope we get more of these instead. More manpower or... Ducats. Ducats. Give me all the ducats. Actually, I shouldn't have, because now uh, it will take longer, right? Ah, not not noticeable. Uh, against Great Moravia? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I am sorry, Magyars, but really? No. 
Ah, they refuse to join the war against us. I think this is um, meant to be the other way around. We refuse to join a war against them. I mean, uh, like, we, we could take them on easily. Just look at them. They barely have any troops. They won't be able to just steamroll the Magyars in a few months. Looks like the Netherlands are shooing into Thuringia. And what's happening here with Ferrara? Occupied by Lithuania? Really? Well, you're not fighting Great Moravia for once. Oh, and we have Mesene back on the map. Mesogeo Orthodox. Interesting. I've never seen them Orthodox before. They've always been uh, Polition or uh, some kind of Islamic religion when they have revolted back in previous test games. Ah, this is going well. Slew some ducats. Can no longer claim that Yagedaki would be a rightful part of our realm. That's too bad. Yeah, still August 1711. And we're not earning any points at all. Seriously. Korea, Sheng... No, I... I no. <laughs> no, I, I can't. I'm sorry. The only ally I'm going to keep is Great Moravia. No, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry, but I'm westernizing now. Our world will love us for it. Our glorious Mazdaki world. It actually feels awful having to betray all my allies like this. But what can you do? That was a bad event. For sure. Hmm. Yeah, we can't afford an, a military advisor, unfortunately. And I'm not going to take any ideas, I'm just looking. Right, we have Russian ideas. We have technology cost... Oh, so we're actually going to have a um, way, way cheaper tech than an actual Western nation when we turn Western, because we have uh, this, and are going to have scientific revolution. We will surely dominate the world. Let's uh, recall the diplomat from there. Korea. Samarkand and Shagatai. We... Mm, we can't do it right now, but we need to build up the force limits as well to deter attackers. Right, so Great Moravia took a bite out of the Magyars. And no, I'm not going to ally you, if that's you. That's Ossetia. No, I'm not going to ally you, Ossetia. Uh, lose uh, ducats. This is why we needed the ducats, so we didn't didn't have to lose points there. Even though it wasn't a Wester westernization event, it's still kind of common. Anything going on here? Anglia being invaded again, as usual, by uh, everyone. Vinland and Castile. Alright, we lost a core, unfortunately. Where? Udskoye. Not here, I think. Alright, uh, Kurgan. Oh, it's here. Right, you guys, move over there. Can almost hold over all of you. Yeah, ignore their demands. Easy. You guys split up again. And now we're losing money because of reinforcement costs. I'm not going to hire another military leader. Oh, is our king leading one of these? Really shouldn't be. Right, I'm only going to hire an, a leader if we really, really need a leader. Merge them. And how many percent through are we? 33.15. Let's complete this westernization in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.